to the Anfield Wrap Transfer Show with me, Rob Gutman. And there's no Mo Stewart today, as you can tell, it's Glenn Price. Hi, Glenn. Hi, Rob. Thanks for having me. Thank, thanks for coming on, Glenn. Uh, we're going to we're gonna what are, back and forth <laughs> a few of the rumours that are around the, the media concerning Liverpool and transfers. Glenn, I don't know where to start because there's not really a huge amount of substance around at the moment. Um, Nathaniel Klein's gone. Uh, and there's some talk that Liverpool might look to bring in a replacement, given that Trent's injured, given we've injury problems with Matip and Gomez. What do you think the likelihood is? I mean, some of the media are going, Liverpool will sign a stopgap. They might do a Stephen Corker type of deal. They'll look to see if one's available. Can you see that? I think they've definitely looked to see if it's possible, but I think that was even before the Klein uh, injury. I think Lovren contributed to that. But I just don't think there was, it was much worthwhile going out to do it because of the quality that's out there and available, there's no real better options than your makeshift ones at the moment who are what? Fabinho, Milner, and then possibly even Camacho or the young kid, Keanu Hoover. Um, yeah. Uh, there was some half-baked talk of trying to get Tarkowski on loan. I mean, is that even doable, that kind of deal? Do you think, why would Burnley do that? I think Sean Dyche laughed that off. Um, did he? Yeah, okay. he, he did. Fair um, enough, Sean. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that one would be, a loan move wouldn't make sense because what Burnley, the fee Burnley got Amanda, is going to be you know, sky high, isn't it? Mm. Just because of the dearth of centre-halves that are around and... And you're talking like Koulibaly going for what? What's Koulibaly's fee going to be this this, this summer if he does a billion to pounds? United? I think it's be a cool it, billion. It probably will exceed Van Dijk for <laughs> yeah, all honesty. Of course, it? It will yeah. now. Um, maybe you know, more credit to Liverpool for getting that deal done when they did. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I can't see any. I can't see any further incomings coming in. Well, any incomings coming this month uh, at Liverpool just because Matip's back. He's back. He was on the bench at Brighton. Can fill in at centre half. Um, Gomez isn't that far Gomez away. Gomez is, right. isn't that far off, yeah. Um, and Trent, you know. He's not that far off. Yeah, it's only true. three or four games out. Yeah, so. Uh, regular watchers of the show, all three of them that have been so far, I think, will know that we rate every Liverpool transfer room on a scale of one to five. But we, we, uh, we rate them on, uh, on the Mo scale. Mo, our, our regular contributor here. One Mo being very unlikely, five being very regular. We used to, in, in our. I've other, no, yeah, I've been. I know I've been you're slightly outraged by this. Are you, <laughs> in the, um, on our Amphi Rap podcast, which you can subscribe to, we do like a very long transfer show or set of shows every week. And it's called The Gutter Show, The Transfer Gutter. To show and Glenn's very often on it. He's on the one this week. And we used to rate it as prices, didn't we? Yeah. But Mo's rather usurped that. Are you happy to rate on the Mo scale? <laughs> no, it'll always be prices. Okay, it? okay. The chances of Liverpool buying a stopgap defender this January, how many prices? One at this at this moment. One price a year. I think that's a yeah, I think it's a bold one. I, I will concur. Um, my next rumour I have is a defender as well, but not one for this January. I think it's more likely if it's to happen at all uh, in the summer. Regards a player no one in the universe had heard of outside of Portugal, I think, called Eder Militao. He's a Brazilian 21-year-old, six foot one inch centre back, who can also play right back, can also play centre mid. He was signed um, from Sao Paulo in the summer for about 3.6 million pounds or euros, I'm not exactly sure which. He's had such a sensational season at Porto that there's talk of, well, the Portuguese club want to tie him down, they want to increase his 50 million euro release clause so that clubs can't uh, pick him off. But there's supposedly interest from, well, all over the Premier League, Liverpool, Everton, Man United. What do you think of this one, Glenn? It's interesting because the centre-half situation probably is going to become a, could become a bit of an issue for Liverpool in the summer, given that Matip's out of contract in 2020. Yep. Um, Dejan Lovren's been pretty unreliable in his, with his injury record, um, you know, ever since he's been at Liverpool. and. Joe Gomez has had problems. Mm, yeah, and there's a, there's a whole defensive situation, really. You're probably going to need backup to every position on that back line. If you look at Klein's probably going to go. Moreno. Moreno's, well, looking set to leave uh, as a free agent. Um, Matip's, you know, could go or Lovren could go, and, and they will definitely need replacing because they've been used quite a bit this season. Um, and and you, you, can always, you never forget to realise just how much these fringe players do contribute to a season. So... Um, this 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 play is an interesting one because how old is he? Twenty one. Mm. Um, he probably is well aware that he's probably not pushing out Van Dijk. Um, the potential pe probably not going to push out Gomez once he does arrive. But plays in array of positions. But he play, plays in array of positions and will definitely get games. And you know he looks like he's uh, he looks like a, a real bit of quality. You know playing for Brazil already. Um, I imagine you know if Liverpool are snooping around, they're not the only ones. 
Okay, so a rating on a scale of uh, pri of the pricey scale this this week. Hmm, I'll give this a two, just because there's no real credible links out there at the moment. Two prices, I think two prices is fair, and again, I agree. Um, hope you're getting better, Mo. Mo's, Mo's uh, convalescing at home. He's, he's pulled a hamstring, something like that. But uh, I think somewhere out there, Mo's giving it two Mo's. Um, next, <laughs> next one we've got is. Uh, Another player I had no idea existed, and I think very few in the football world, apart from his parents, did either. Uh, he's called Arno Groenevelt, and he plays uh, in the Dutch league. Now, you know a little bit about him, don't you, Glenn? Yeah, um, I went over to interview Pep Linders when he was manager of uh, NEC Nimegen last last year. Um, and Arno uh, Groenevelt, oh, well, his name's Arno Danjuma Groenevelt now. Uh, right, right, bit of inside knowledge there. Yeah, uh, watched him play, scored in the game. Um, he was quite highly you know, rated when, when I was there, but quite a lot of people were talking about him. Um, which sort of makes this link interesting in that, you know, there is the Linders link to him. But um, So if he's any good, Pep's saying to Klopp, this lad who played for me is quite good. Yeah. So there's a sort of credibility in this one. Yeah, there is. Um, just speaking to a few people, you know, back in Holland about about the him. I don't think the relationship with, you know, Groenewald and Linders was, was entirely perfect. It wasn't, you know, that they were best friends or whatever. Mm. Um, but he's an interesting player because I think he's been linked with AC Milan and a, a, host right. of, a host of clubs are interested in him. I think it's it's one that Liverpool, you know... Young players still, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't, yeah he's 21. Oh, so, right, so, um, yeah. I, I think his... Is Camp on aware of any interest from Liverpool, or but they they're, they're not aware of? Yeah, maybe, or, or they're not aware of you know Liverpool be, you know, scouts being at his games or something. But you know Liverpool you know, operate in mysterious ways sometimes, so okay. um, they're not. They probably won't be the only club looking at him. But it does feel like you know if he were to move on, say to a you know an, maybe another stepping stone, then Liverpool will be following all the way because you know he is really highly rated. Okay, what was his name again? Arno Arno <laughs> Danjuma Grunewald. To put the ball in the blue shine <laughs> net, Arno Danjuma Grunewald. Well, what is the likelihood of that happening? Um, even though you can say prices, uh, Sam's going to make them be Mo's yeah. on the bottom of the screen. So you can, but you can part price your Mo as you feel free. Um, feel fit, I'm going to give it another two, to be honest. Yeah. Another two, another two prices, Mo. Okay, I think we're going to go with that. I think we're going to close with that. It's been another fun packed transfer show. Thank you very much to Glenn. We await, uh, we await to hear if Mo's going to be back for the next one.